keep it secrets to different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me then. Yo, what's good, you too? This is your man, Uncle Denny, and today I have another special banger for you. All right, now listen up. Before we get into this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Let's like up this video. Let's try to get at least 1,500 likes on this video. And of course, subscribe to the channel, man. All right, so liking up the video is going to push everything to the recommended. And it's subscribing to the channel to show that you stay. You mess with your man, Uncle Denny. You appreciate the fact I drop a video every single day since 2K20's been out. We're going almost 300 and... I don't know, like 50 some straight days. <laughs> so we're getting close to the 365. Um, yeah, something like that. I don't know, but it's, it's pretty close. I know somebody told me it was like 300 and like 40 or 50 some straight days I've done so far. So, but anywho, today we're going to talk about DeMar DeRozan, right? Um, DeMar DeRozan is considered one of the best players in the league, obviously. But one thing about um, DeMar DeRozan that a lot of people might know or might not know about is that. His play style, somebody, um, a couple um, sabermetrics people, those are people that are really big with numbers, um, they came and said that DeMar DeRozan is the most similar basketball player to Michael Jordan ever, ever, meaning his similarities to where he shoots at on the court, um, free throw attempts, dunk attempts, you know, everything. DeMar DeRozan is the most similar to um Michael Jordan so that just lets you know that how good he is obviously he's an 86 on the game um and he is like I said man he's one that he's he slept on a lot but one thing I, I definitely like about him is that he's very consistent you know what you're gonna get from him I'm um, hard working and you know hey you can't ask for anything better than that now when you look at him his driving dunks are 90 his close shots are whopping 94 and his mid-range shots in 88 with a 71 three-point shot. So you can already tell how that can just look like Michael Jordan, right? Um, which I think is pretty crazy. Um, post fades are 78, post moves are whopping 86. Like you starting to see now, like how you can see a little Michael in this, all right? Ball handles in 81, speed with balls um, 82. And then um, perimeter defense is 77. And then his uh, defensive rebounds is 65, right? So as you can see, he's definitely a mid-range shooter, man. He's called, he's a mid-range slasher. Obviously, look at his driving dunks at 90 and his mid-range to 88. That's where you get the mid-range slasher from. And then if you look at the badges, you can see here, got a few gold badges, contact, fancy footwork, relentless finisher, um, cross key score, which is something that a lot of people sleep on. Um, shooting badges, you see he has a ton of them, but he has difficult shots, right? Difficult shots on gold. He has bailout, space creator, which is really huge stop and go and then he has no defensive badges which i think is crazy but he doesn't have any defensive badges so as you see right here he's 6'6 6'5 220 mid-range slasher so let's head over to the my player builder and get this guy built right all right my nephews and nieces so um as you know um demar derozan he is a small forward he's right-handed and he's number 10 okay um i went with the slashing and shooting all obviously a mid-range um finisher I mean, mid-range slasher, you want to go with this pie chart here, all right? Um, I wouldn't do well balanced because he does have that strength, but um, in all in all, you could go with um, the vert and the speed and the vert pie chart if you wanted to, um, or you could go with the straight speed. Just depends on what you like, all right? Um, and then, of course, here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and max out the top four. And then we're gonna go to 49 to get at 16. Oops. Still 15, all right? So I just used that, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, then you wanna go 79 here, then you wanna go 70 in your three-point shot. You wanna go 85 here, and then your post fade, you wanna go to a 77. All right, you right at 16. Then you wanna go with your ball handling and your post moves, you wanna max that out. You wanna max out your perimeter, your lateral quickness, your steals, your defensive rebounds and your blocks, okay? So you're gonna have 15, 16, 10, and four. I wanted to make sure that we had some defensive um, badge upgrades, but the big thing here is just the 15 to 16 for the finishing and the, sh the um, shooting, all right? Um, you also, with your body type, 
You want to go, um, I think you can go compact. I mean, DeMar Rose is actually defined. Let's go to fine, right? Um, here, this is what you want to do, okay? So he is 6'6", six, six, right? If you go 6'6", six, six, you're going to get mid-range finisher. If you go 6'5", you get the mid-range slasher, right? The reason being is the ball handle, okay? So the ball handling will make you a finisher at 6'6", six, because six, it's not low enough. And if you go to 6'5", you will get it, right? Um, so if you go 6'5", he's 220, so go 220. Right? Then you want to get your wingspan and you want to lower that all the way down. And that's going to give you the name, the mid-range um, slasher name. Okay, if you want to go 6'6", six, six, do the same exact thing. It'll be a mid-range finisher. Okay, So it's really your call. But if you want to have the exact DeMar DeRozan type build, you want to go 6'5". That's going to give you the name and it's going to give you the, um, the um, similar to name. Right? Here, obviously, you can go slasher or shot creator. I mean, he does have difficult shots. It's really your call based on your play style. Me, if it's all, if, if I'm given a chance to have slasher, I'm going to take the slasher because it's the best takeover badge in the game. So I'm going to go with slasher. And here you have it, my nephews and nieces, the mid-range slasher, similar to DeMar DeRozan, right? So now let's go ahead and test this build out real quick. Let's get him the 99. And of course, we will get y'all out of here, right? So, um, let's get a 99, all right? And as you can see right here, I know I didn't go over that, but um, he's gonna have an 88 speed, 84 acceleration, 90 vert, and an 88 strength, which is ridiculous, 86 ball handle. You have a 79, three, um, a, a, an 80 um, three-point shot, an 89 mid-range shot. You have an 88 driving dunk, 90 layup. I mean, all in all, this is really, really good build, man. And as usual, Definitely want to go with Contact Finisher Hall of Fame. You want to get your Giant Slayer. You want to get your Slithery Finisher. You want to get your Acrobat. And then you want to get your Consistent Finisher. A lot of people always say it's fancy footwork this, fancy footwork that. If you are somebody that still plays this game this far into the season, and you think that fancy footwork is needed, then, there's, then you don't play the game enough, or you just don't understand the game, right? If you watch any of my streams, if you watch any of these stage players, you watch any of the top players in this game, we do not use fancy footwork for a reason. You do not need to use fancy footwork. I hop step every single time and it looks ridiculous. And I do not need that extra animation. What you want to have is Giant Slayer and Slithery and Acrobat with a little bit consistent with Hall of Fame contact finisher. Trust me, that is going to be the way, right? Then of course here, what you want to do is you want to get your difficult shots, of course, get your quick draw. Um, get your um, range extender, get your hot zone hunter, and then I will say go with either dead eye, volume shooter, or tyler shooter, green machine. You have some options here. Let's just go this. Let's, do that. let's, let's, let's call that right there. And then here, of course, you want to go handles for days, quick first step. Where is space crater? Space crater, and then ah, you got to go bail out. So we might have to do this then. Yeah, we're going to have to. And then for your badges here, you do have some. Don't get, don't be afraid of silver badges. Let's just go silver right here. And then, then you have it, my nephews and nieces, man. This right here is a Demar Derozan build. Um, again, you can make it any way you want to, but this is the way I did it. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, this is your man, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. And you know, when I say I'll be back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.